Now, Israeli forces have detained about 80 Palestinians at this point after three Israeli teens disappeared from the West Bank. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says they have been abducted, quote, by a terrorist organization. And senior international correspondent Ben Wiedemann is live from Jerusalem. Uh, okay, so after that uh, assertion by the prime minister, has any group claimed responsibility? Well, just to update you, Victor, this morning, the Prime Minister Netanyahu, after a cabinet meeting, came out and said he was much more specific. He said it is Hamas uh, that is behind the kidnappings. Now, this would indicate that perhaps they've managed to extract uh, more intelligence, more information from the approximately 80 people that they detained uh, overnight, among whom are some fairly senior officials in Hamas, which, of course, operates underground in the West bank. Uh, one additional bit of information. Uh, I just got off the phone with the spokesman for the Israeli army. They say uh, they've called up a very limited number of uh, relevant reservists as a reaction uh, to these kidnappings, these alleged kidnappings. Now, regarding claims of responsibility, there have been uh, several, notably not from Hamas, which called uh, the prime minister's assertions stupid. Uh, but we have received several claims of responsibility. Most disturbingly is this one, of course, which is from the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria the Palestine branch. Now, this is the first time uh, they've ever put out such a statement, and there are indications this may not be an altogether uh, legitimate claim, but it does indicate that people here, extremists here, are watching events in Iraq as well. Victor? Hmm. My goodness. Well, okay, so what, what do you make of that? Uh, how, how do you find out how legitimate that claim from ISIS might be? And do we know if these boys were these three specifically were targeted for some reason. These three specifically, it's difficult to say, but certainly uh, Israeli intelligence and security services are saying that their kidnapping uh, does appear to have been done by professionals, people who knew what they were doing. Uh, they were hitchhiking at a roundabout in the southern uh, West Bank outside the settlement block of Gush Etzion. Uh, so beyond that, the Israelis are, are carrying out a widespread search operation uh, in the southern West Bank. As you said, they've arrested approximately 80 people at this point, and that operation is ongoing. You know, Ben, you bring up uh, the Palestinian branch of ISIS. Of course, we've discussed over the past few weeks uh, uh, the group moving from Aleppo and Syria all the way now close to Baghdad. How much of a threat is this Palestinian branch? Well, first of all, when you read the language, it really doesn't use the same sort of terminology that is typical of Islamist groups. In fact, it looks like it's written by uh, simply the usual, uh, in, in the usual way that you would get from the Palestinian group. So as I, I stress, it's difficult to ascertain whether this is uh, actually from ISIS or not. We do know that they have a certain limited number of followers, supporters uh, in the West Bank, in Jerusalem, and in Gaza. And of course, the presence of such a group is a concern not just for the Israelis, but also uh, for the Palestinians as well. Victor? All mm -hmm. right. But of course, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, asserted Same. that this was Hamas. Hamas right. is Ben's reporting this morning, calling that assertion stupid. Yeah. Uh, ben Wiedemann for us. Ben, thank you. Thank you, Ben.